Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Practical Data Scientist. Today, the video is not about data science or machine learning, but it's some cool stuff to demonstrate how powerful programming is. And what you see on my screen needs no introduction, right? The dino game from Google. So whenever you don't have a network, you open a Google browser and search for something, you get directed to this screen, right? where Google offers you to play a dino game. So game is very simple. You just click uh, tap on the space bar to start the game. Once it gets started, you have a list of obstacles running towards the dino. So you press the space bar to jump and the distance that you travel will be your score in the game. And when you get hit by the obstacle, your score stops. So now here 142 is my score and pressing spacebar again restarts the game. So this is how you play the dino game, right? And most of you would have tried this and try to score the maximum score. But there is a cool trick which can help you get unlimited number of points in the dino game. And this trick involves just one line of code and I'm going to demo you how to write it. So on the browser, right click, and select inspect so once you click on inspect you get an workspace to work on so for me it gets displayed on the right side of the browser for some of you based on resolution of your screen it may get displayed at the bottom half and here you have multiple tabs right elements console so you need to go to console where you can add programming so here I'm going to just write a JavaScript code one line of code to skip the game over functionality so give to give you a brief about it how it runs is like uh, runner is the game that we are running like right? the dino runner the game is denoted as runner so I do runner dot instance instance is nothing but refers to the specific instance that is running now so now I have opened the game runner then within that I'm getting into the instance that is running now then again a dot I go to game over function so what happens is this game over function tells the game what needs to happen when the game is over so when you hit on an obstacle a game over function gets called and Google has written a code saying like you know your score should get reset the game should restart from beginning like that now I'm going to replace that function using the assignment operator and assigning it to a null function meaning whenever there is a game over the code doesn't do anything so it doesn't reset your score it doesn't restart the game so to run it click on enter there is a syntax error. sorry so this assignment operator should be followed this way so this helps you to know whether your code is executed successfully so now when I click on enter you can see that it got successfully executed so if you get an error like this make sure that you know the syntax that you follow is same as what is shown so now that we have set up the code successfully now I again press the space bar so you can see the dino running the obstacle coming in the dino doesn't get hit so whenever it is getting hit it goes to the game over function and since we did not give any code the system does not do anything whenever the obstacle gets hit and as you can see you can keep on scoring without any limit some of you might think uh, is google games so easy to hack the answer is no this game is easy to hack because this runs when there is no network right so all of the code is available in your local server or the cache of your browser so you edit it and you get it running and some of you might have another question like uh, uh, what happens when you cross 5-9 score right like even I was curious to know that so I waited for almost one and a half hours and kept this program running and as you can see now I am reaching 99,900 score let's see what happens when I reach 1 lakh so it was disappointing me for, for me as well 
after I reached 1 lakh like it just increased the number of bytes available for the score so I didn't have the patience to run beyond that so it's going to take more than a day to reach the other digit so if somebody is interested you are welcome to try it out thanks for watching this video and if you like it do subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this thank you